Hi there, my name is Peter Vox and I'm the director and principal teacher of Vox Singing Academy, which was established in beautiful Melbourne, Australia in 1993. Welcome to another episode of Ask VSA. Today I'm going to be discussing and talking about the effects of reflux on a singer's voice and also how to rectify reflux not just for singers, but for everyone in general, but particularly for singers. But before I get stuck into that, please give us a like and a thumbs up if you like this video. Click and share. If you want to subscribe, that would be absolutely grouse as well too. If we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. Please check out the links below for more info. We have numerous studios here in Melbourne with uh, male and female teachers. We also give online singing lessons worldwide seven days a week. And if singing lessons, private singing lessons, aren't your cup of tea, please check out the Ultimate Online Singing Course. Absolutely amazing course. Check out the links below for more info. Let's get stuck into the next video. This next video is dedicated and requested by Devon Ekra... Ram? Ekra... Bram. Ekra Bram. I'm sure that I've messed it up, Devon, so my apologies. <clears throat> Um, a few weeks ago, I released a video uh, on falsetto and how to sing in and out of falsetto and use your falsetto uh, to the best of its ability. Devon did reply and, sa and said in a comment that um, he used to be able to sing falsetto very, very well uh, until he suffered from reflux and then he lost his falsetto. So I'm here to help Devon and hopefully a lot of other people um, rectify their falsetto issues or their vocal issues if it is affected by reflux. <clears throat> now, I have suffered from reflux, particularly probably in the last 10 years as a singer and as a singing teacher, and it's, it's not great when your voice is affected by reflux. So basically what reflux is, it's stomach acids that are coming up from your large intestine and they're coming up and they're burning your vocal cords or your throat. Now you may not feel the burning sensation but it will generally, it will wear your voice down um, and your voice will become swollen and red and inflamed um, where you will start to lose areas of your vocal range or, or parts of your voice. <clears throat> Now, when I suffered from reflux, it was particularly in my falsetto. My true voice, my top range diminished by about two notes, so I would normally be able to sing a D in true voice, and I was struggling to sing B. Um, that's below um, high C, but my falsetto wasn't great at all. Um, I was really struggling to sing low falsetto particularly. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've got a uh, very bad hay fever here today. Probably should do... Uh, an episode on hay fever as well too. Um, so I was struggling to sing things like, so you can keep me, which is a very low falsetto for me. That's the bottom of my falsetto, but I just basically couldn't sing that. Um, and I was really struggling to sing um, all vowels in falsetto besides the E or the we vowel. So I was fine with we, but any of the other vowels, A, C, heart, soul, you, um, they were really non, uh, not working at all. So that's how it affected me. And I will tell you how I basically um, rectified uh, my reflux issues. Uh, but that basically there is, is reflux and it can happen in different ways and can happen um, in different times of the day. So I'm going to be talking about that um, now and how to basically rectify and why it's, why it's caused. Reflux is basically caused, as I said, by stomach acids raising up and, and, and irritating the vocal cords. Now, this is normally caused by a few different scenarios. So I will tell you uh, one of the most serious ones firstly. Um, number one is, is, is a gastric band or gastric leaking. Um, now, when your food goes into your large intestine, you have a band, they call it a, a gastric band. It basically just stops any of the food coming back up um, after you've eaten. Now, a lot of, the, a lot of these 
the, the gastric band area. Sometimes it gets loose or the muscle doesn't work as well and it opens up and leaves a hole where the food can come up and irritate the vocal cords. So that, that, is, a, that is a common problem um, where the acid will come up and, and irritate the vocal cords. Another one is uh, by uh, eating spicy food or acidic food um, or coffee, anything like that. So what I personally did to rectify my, um, my reflux problems, and it was really trial and error because I, I did get my vocal cords assessed by an ENT, and they said it was red and inflamed, uh, and then they actually said it was so red and inflamed that they wanted to go and do a procedure uh, on my vocal cords. I went and got a second opinion, and the second opinion said, look, they don't, you don't need to do a procedure, but it is red and inflamed, and you need to rectify that. And both uh, ENTs said that it, it would pr it's probably caused by reflux. Um, they put me on reflux medication, so they put me on Gaviscon, firstly, which is a liquid which basically puts a lining um, over the, the cords and the whole area there. And I was told to do this at night time um, or before I sing. And I did that and it, it didn't work <clears throat> at all. Um, so that didn't, didn't do anything for me. Then I went on to Nexium, which is some tablets for that. I went on to these tablets as well too. And again, it didn't really help um, the situation at all. Um, what I personally did is I, I now, and, and still to this day, I don't eat at least four to six hours before I go to bed. Um, this is because the problem was obviously when I was laying down and um, my um, reflux, the, the, the gastric uh, acids were, were coming back up to, to my throat when I was lying down and sleeping at night. So how I rectified it is I don't eat at least six to uh, five to six hours before I go to bed. Before I go to bed, um, I only drink water as well too. And the last two hours before I go to bed, I try not to have anything, no water, um, nothing at all, because even water can, can cause um, uh, reflux as well too. As you probably know, if you've uh, maybe been if you've had uh, a bug and you've been throwing up um, at night and if you're trying to keep your fluids in and you drink some water, if you've got gastro or something like that and you throw the water straight back up, you'll um, feel that the water is, is acidic because it's gone into your uh, large intestine and then come back up. So even water can cause reflux. But that's basically how I rectified it. And it was really trial and error um, where I just went through lots of different things. I was giving up things and, and doing, doing, trialing lots of different things. And that's basically what worked for me. Um, I'm gonna now talk about food to eat and, and what I do. I don't have any heavy meals in the evening um, at all. I try to have my biggest meal for lunch. Um, and if I'm gonna have something spicy to eat, I generally will have it for lunch or, or late afternoon. So I've tried to eliminate all spicy hot food. Um, after I have eaten as well too, I try not to exercise because it makes the food come up. So I, I try to at least uh, let my stomach settle for a couple of hours before I do exercise because I felt that that was causing reflux as well too. Drinking, I just try to drink water all the time, um, but I know that coffee, I've read, is, is very bad. It's high in acid. Um, alcohol is not great as well, too. Um, juices, particularly very acidic juices like orange juices and things like that, they're going to cause reflux. Um, so really watch what you're drinking. Um, limit it and always drink water as well, too. Um, with that as well, too, um, dairy products aren't great for your voice uh, if you've got reflux, uh, just because basically once it hits the large intestine, milk and different things like that, it will curdle, um, so it will create more acid. Um, so I've really eliminated all dairy products as, as well uh, from as the best that I can. No, I'm actually lying. I still eat chocolate. It's a, a very big addiction of mine, and I really need to give chocolate up. 
Um, but yes, I did try to uh, eliminate all other, or I have eliminated all other dairy products. <clears throat> um, with uh, one last thing that I thought that worked really well for me is I have my bed on a very slight angle. So if my head is this way on the bed, I've got my bed chalked up this this end, just with some tea towels, just roll some tea towels up um, and, and some towels and some blankets up one end and it just slightly, um, my bed has a slight um, elevation at the head, head level um, and it's, I can't really even notice it now as well too. So I really felt that that, that helped as well. So that's what really helped me with my singing um, and my voice now is, Absolutely perfect. It's 110%. It did take a lot of trial and error and, and finding out what was wrong because I didn't really even know that it was a reflux. I thought it, that it may have been overuse um, and I may have damaged my voice, but I, I, luckily it wasn't and it was just reflux and I was able to rectify it. After quite a lot of trial and error and, and trying to get to the bottom of it, pretty much myself, because as I said, the medication didn't work, but that's what works for me. Water, eating at the right time, not eating before I go to bed, not exercising after I've eaten, um, not having spicy food um, in the evening. So that's what works best for me. I truly hope that this video um, has helped Will, will help people out. I'm sure that it will because it really, really helped me out um, regarding reflux and improving your voice as well too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, click like and subscribe. If you like it, share it uh, with your friends if you think that it's helped you out. If you think that I've missed something, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. If you want me to do a video for you, please put it again in the comments below. And uh, if I think that it's a good topic or a question, I will definitely record a video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please, if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. Even if you have reflux issues, we can help you with that. We help with life coaching, uh, physical health, exercise routines, all in conjunction to make you the best singer that we possibly can. So if you want to become a singer or wanting to take singing lessons, please check out the links below for more info. We have numerous, 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 we have numerous studios here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia. We also give online singing lessons as well, seven days a week. If private lessons aren't your thing, please check out the Ultimate Online Singing Course. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really do appreciate it. Until the next video, live each day with passion because you never know when it will be your last. Enjoy your music and peace and much love. Bye-bye.